Well, you talked about how you think that people from 36 states of the country should be appointed onto the board. But some people will say uh, that, first of all, are you thinking of running the NNPC like a productive company? Uh, there will be questions in that regard. And then uh, there will also be questions as to what board? Is it the board that is currently being considered redundant or is it the board uh, a more effective board? What, what board precisely do you have in mind? I look at the uh, roles of the governing board of an organization and management of an organization. The governing board will provide direction and control while the management will do implementation of those policies already evolved by the governing board. NMPC lays about 90-97% of the nation's resources. And therefore, every part of this country, every state of the country is an essential stakeholder. That's why I recommend as an anti-corruption tool that the governing board be expanded to look like a quasi-commission. So a commissioner comes from every state. Why should it be so? Because every transaction, every, for instance, I hear that uh, um, the, the, the governor of Sokoto State is uh, talking with the minister for petroleum, who also is the president, uh, to the effect that oil should be explored in the Sokoto Basin. Exploration is um, a very expensive venture. Now, it's for the common good. If we discover oil in the north and in the south, it's for the betterment of Nigeria. But Nigerians have to agree that a quantum of money be set aside to explore oil in the Sokoto Basin. So a commission with, people, with a commissioner from Abia, Delta, or at worst, the Cisjopo zones, this issue is touchy. This is the soul of Nigeria. This is the So what you're suggesting, if I, if, I, if I understand you, Mr. Richard, what you're suggesting is that the board be reconstituted or the board be empowered to act like a commission. Then the question will be, how effective have the commissions that we currently have been? I mean, we've seen examples of commission. Has that really strengthened their corporate governance processes? Well, there are commissions and there will be commissions. If you have a commission that is overseeing the activities of the NNPC, that commission will have no choice but to be positive and to be very active. Because the commission will be uh, a commission that everybody will be interested in. So they will have no choice than to be very effective. This. Without taking anything away from the current, I don't know, you know, what's going on with the Niger Delta Development Commission, uh, which is a commission, but there are complaints as to how much the Niger Delta Development Commission has received over the years, vis-a-vis uh, -vis the development that is actually on the ground. Uh, th that is on the one hand. On the other hand, some people will say that the complaint right now is not about a lack of a board, but that the materials or the, the uh, consultations were not done with the board. That is the complaint. So how do we cure that particular mischief which seems to be permitted by the NNPC Act? First and foremost, I just said that the governing board of the NNPC has a supervisory role over the management of the NNPC. Whether the office of the GMD is accepting <coughs> that or not is immaterial. Because that's what the law says. The board approves work programs, the, the board approves corporate plans, the board approves budgets, and the, uh, implement, the management does implementation. So, but I am also saying that to make it much more robust, and to, I don't know how many people right now are there on the board of the NMPC, the number that are there. I'm thinking that for an instrument of absolute checks and balance to be in place, in the NNPC, the board should be expanded and made to look like a quasi-commission where every state has an input. If you are going to share uh, money at the end of the month, 
ministers, commissioners of finance come from every state, is that also? They sit down, they talk, they take decisions, and then they share the money. So that money that they are sharing, where is it coming from? It's coming from the same treasury. So if what they share is being properly depleted before the sharing actually occurs, what's the use? Don't you think it makes more sense to guide against the depletion of what we should share before we share it. So those who are sharing should actually also guard against depletion of what we're going to share. The other side of this That's point, my point of view. The other side of this thing is when you talk about checks and balances, what will the, the Bureau of Public Procurement, for instance, is supposed to super, supervise all manner of procurement as regards a country, right? But yes. There are those who argue that the board of the BPP has not been constituted and that is one of the biggest flaws that's causing this. Do you agree? You know, for me, I think that the, I think that, uh, the administration should look inward and begin to reposition the strategy to curb corruption. Because corruption is systemic. Corruption eats at the very fabric of the systems. To curb it, you need to look at the system, find out where the leakages are occurring, and plug it. There is no reason, absolutely no reason, why this administration, with its pride in anti-corruption, should not have pursued the review and amendment of the NNPC law before all of this is coming up, and even putting in place all necessary boards that will help to curb corruption in the land. But quick, I mean, when, when, when the... There's uh, no reason. But when Kachiku was there, if you knew that there was a process, something was wrong with perhaps the way the law was, many would have expected that he raised it. But that we were happen. told, Baru said that Kachiku sought uh, uh, clarifications from the BPP, and those clarifications uh, exactly is what uh, Mr. Baru is also working on at the moment. The BPP said, Yes, the board will do A, B, C. Approve work programs, approve corporate plans, approve budget. Why you do implementation? Now, these are terms that are very clear. They are very clear. You are implementing what? You are implementing what I approved. Doesn't that make me in a position, put me in a position that I should have synergy? Oh. There should be synergy between me and you. There has to be synergy between the governing board and the management of the NNPC. But you know, at the same time, I mean, since there is a minister, and he is minister of state, and the GMB says, well, I get approval from the minister, should he not say, okay, well, if that's the case, I should be asking uh, if the minister gave that approval. If the minister g did give that approval, what more role can he play? I don't think you are listening to me clearly. The, the law says the corporation shall seek approval from the president. In his capacity. Eh? I get your point. Yes, but so the corporation the does not mean the GMD. You understand? Because the corporation now would mean the entirety of the management structure covering both the governing board and the management of the NNPC shall seek approval, for, which means that All right, really. after the synergy between the, uh, the tenders board and the governing board, the agreement will now be passed on to the president okay. for I'm afraid approval. we need to anchor at that point. Uh, if you're Richard, Executive Director, Corruption Observatory, thank you for talking to us this morning. Thank you. We'll be back in a moment. Do join us again.